All right, it's late. It's 14 minutes and 18 seconds. It was probably 16 minutes <laughs> until they cut things from it, is my assumption. It was late, but we're here. Inside Star Citizen, to and fro with cargo. This is all cargo related, but it seems to be focused specifically on the instance hangers. But I will say, right on the thumbnail, and I'm probably going to be covering it here, I am. T take a look. Take a little look right there. What's that? We got new boxes and we got mining bags that are there. Very exciting. Also, Hamilton slams the FIA president. Who cares? Cargo sits at the very heart of the non-combat Star Citizen experience. Mm. And as it continues to evolve in the upcoming Alpha 323 and beyond, its next major evolution is less about the places you'll go and more about the ones you'll start and come back to. Now, hangers, whether they're persistent, instanced, personal, or staging. So did he say this first update? Interesting. I, I'm still curious how the sneak peek that showed the cargo elevator at an outpost is, if it's in 323 or not. Make up the next frontier now. of cargo gameplay. And we went to Chad and his team for an early look at where they're going and how team they're Chad. progressing. Let's find out more. So, yeah, we've had a couple ISCs before to talk about the new cargo and hangars features coming. But now that we're here and about to release things, we want to talk a bit about how that impacts your play experience, even if you don't care at all about cargo. Yeah, I think everybody has to care about that. Like, I don't know too many gameplay loops that won't be using this. That's ridiculous. That's so silly, but OK. So let's start with persistent hangers. What are they and what does that mean? So a persistent hanger a is bags. an instance hanger that is going to be assigned to you whenever you select your home location when logging into the game for the first time for a patch. When that happens, what we do is we determine the largest ship that you have and then entitle to you a persistent hanger that's of the size needed to facilitate that ship. What happens when I buy a ship in game that's larger than the ship I own, right? Like, obviously, I have a reclaimer. It can't be owned in-game because it's when you first log in. Whenever you go into that hangar into the game, that hangar at your home location is always your hangar, and you'll be able to use it like your home. You'll be able to keep things in the hangar. You'll be able to leave things around. You can invite friends in. You can treat it like your own little oasis. So let's talk about for these personal hangers. How do you actually get into them? You would assume it changes. How would you assume it changes if I place things on the ground at the one that I have? It can't change. Area two. Okay, so that's like a new Moby here. Interesting. It's all the same, but also new. You can make a request via ATC for landing. And when we do that, we'll check to see if you have any personal hangers entitled to you. You'll be able to enter in using largely the same methodology that you do now, land, and then you can just hang out in there. <laughs> as far as what can you actually do with your personal hanger and what kinds of things can you decorate with it, what we're gonna do is allow you to call anything in your inventory up via that freight elevator. You can pick it up Except off the vehicles. freight elevator either with your hands or using the tractor beam and just screw it about your location however you pick. Also in the hangars, you'll notice several new kiosks. We have the freight elevator kiosk, which has a brand new uh, UI and uh, inventory system to deal with uh, large volumes of cargo. Okay. You're going to have on the left-hand side a that section was... that is showing the contents. That was in. Uh, we're going back to that, obviously, right? We're not just going to ignore request platform planetary inventory view auto arrange is a thing. Select all, unselect all, send to warehouse, send to platform. Username. That's interesting. Extend to platform. Extend to warehouse. Yeah, so there's a lot going on here. Pan, zoom. 
There's a lot going on here. I hope we get to see a bit more with this. Such volumes of cargo. You're going to have on the left hand side a section that is showing the contents of the platform itself. And on the right hand side, similar inventory layout with all your armor and weapons and. Okay. That's kind of cool. Items. And then you decide what you want to spawn in, um, in the freight elevator. The freight elevator then comes up and then you can start doing like loading and unloading of various cargo into your ship and so on. If you're considerate about how you're loading things and you're trying to optimize your loading times, it'll give you a lot of power as far as, for example, making sure that certain kinds of things are front loaded on the platform to make your multi-crew loading as streamlined as possible. I, I I don't buy this in 323. Maybe it will be a thing, but that that seems a little like they're they're thinking that something is going to happen that may or may not. But we'll see. And anything that's in your inventory, you're going to be able to call up. Some things you might have to put into an inventory container box. We're talking eight, sixteen, twenty-four, even thirty-two SU size yeah, container these are boxes all new containers. that you can put large items in. Now you can raise that up on the platform. There, you guys just got a, a good look at the new UI from Evo. Container boxes that you can put large items in. Now, so here's the section where um, you you're able to see the inventory of like a body that has um, like armors, backpacks, etc. If you, I think, if you press one of these buttons. You're able to to see those things. So this is this is the Squadron Forty Two UI that is actually readable and sort of. It does have the double text way too much. It's super weird. But the this this is the Squadron Forty Two UI that has allowed. Okay, the bottom thing is what is what allows you to swap between. And here is like a more utility section and one of the pages of this will be like your armor that you can like pull, uh, like armor you can pull off of somebody that you're looting. It's actually pretty cool. How you can raise that up on the platform, including in collections, transfer that very quickly onto your ship. And I love how they're using a caterpillar like anyone's gonna use that ship after the changes they made. Fucking ruin this ship completely. And take them to another location. <laughs> In your personal hangar, you also have access to several other kiosks, starting with the item bank. Which are another form of kiosk, which you could almost consider like a small freight elevator in a way, in okay. that you can retrieve curious. personal items such as clothing, armor, and weapons. Because the item that's being delivered will be delivered in a tray that's in the same machine, so you interact that kind of like you interact with a loot box and you get that out, so no other player can actually physically get anything from your local inventory and uh, the okay these item banks can be found not just within the hangars but also the wider location such as your habs and oh. other key areas of a location yeah they look they're at olympus to retrieve um your personal nice, items nice, nice, since you nice. can't interact with the with your inventory anymore at any given time it means like we need to have enough item banks around each location so you don't block each other um, from accessing an, an, a terminal, right? It's just a quicker way to get a quick gun or a few meta pins or your armor without having to load it up from the freight elevator. And the last kiosk that I want that's to good, talk about good. is the ASOP terminal. Which we have positioned in the hangar so you can request your ships from within the hangar and not just the spaceport. So they nice. will still remain in the spaceport. So if you don't have a personal hangar in your location, you can request your ship also from there. What we're doing is we're changing the way. Again, that seems like it's only for our personal hangars. Um, we're we're not even halfway through the. We're only a third of the way through the video. I I'm very curious how it will be when we go to a place that doesn't have a personal hangar and how we interact with cargo and things like that, how all that's going to play out. Very curious about all that. the ships spawn in the game. You can now request your ships from within the hangar. Yeah, I mentioned that. What happens when you purchase a larger ship in game? And that was the first thing I caught was like, that doesn't make sense. Uh, and they okay. will appear to you. But they won't just come out of thin air. What happens is the whole of the floor will open up. You get this like amazing view of the, of the hangar, the lights dim, the doors open. Did you see the, the UI? And the landing platform will be rising up towards you 
and your ship will be there. Elite Dangerous, everybody. We try to balance it in a way. It only took us 12 years to finally get Elite Dangerous. That tankers. doesn't take too much time for you, but also that it feels like it has the right weight to it, but also you don't have to wait for it too long. This UI is the first time we're seeing this as well, right? So now you have a seamless transition and a realistic way of storing your ships away. Additionally, you can do clever things like call up a smaller vehicle, such as a ground vehicle, drive it off, and then call up a larger vehicle. Then you'll have access to your ground vehicles without having to go to another location. How is this late and that's still in there? How does this make it into the edit? Weeks after, how is that a thing when we know it's not going to be there? Location, you'll be able to call up multiple ships and maybe have one person fly off with one ship, call another one. Have Do you think it's a workaround? Uh, should I listen again? Of storing your I'll ships listen away. Again. Additionally, you can do clever things like call up a smaller vehicle, such as a ground vehicle, drive it off, and then call up a larger vehicle. Then you'll have access to your ground vehicles without having to go to another location. You'll be able to call up multiple ships. So we call it up from the hangar and not the freight elevator? Ah. And maybe have one person fly off with one ship, call another one, have another person in your party fly up with another ship. Or you can just call up a ship, change your mind, and then call up a different ship without having to leave or anything like that. It gives you a lot of flexibility. And I can okay, already tell what like some of you are thinking right now. We're not going to let the system like eat your body and store it into the inventory or anything like that. Uh, we'll make sure to account for that such that if there's a blocking change that happens, we'll stop the process go back up to the default state and then tell the player about the issue so that they can account for it. If you do want <laughs> to jump in to the platform just before oh, it closes no! and fall to your death, you can fall to your death if you want to. Okay. That that's that's a little dark. <laughs> but so this is really sure. cool and we're really happy to get this in. It's been discussed for some years now and yes. it's been very, a very tricky long. thing to fit in and certain techs required to be able to do it. You'd be able to have this hangar, your own space, and, and call your own ships and do hey, a Elliot, lot more people are within asking the about hangar you now. Today. Now that we're adding hey, all of this new facility to the hangars in the game, allowing them to be persistent, adding these freight elevators, adding the ship platform, there's a lot of more things that we have to have in these hangars for them to be useful for what we're adding. So the hangar sizes um, had to increase um, quite a bit. We did not want to do that originally in the beginning, but uh, soon when we did prototyping, we figured out that not all, not all the hangars, as I'd like the low-tech hangars in particular, are quite old by this point. Not all of them were to the same standards or metrics. So okay. we figured that with the landing pad now going down, you had this gap for like, quite some time before the um, before the doors close. So there was a very narrow walkway for the player sometimes. So we had to rejig some things and made it actually larger. So the um, okay. large and XL have had significant size changes. Yeah. So the XL is about 20% larger and the large is about 30% larger. So certain ships that were a little tight can now fit a lot more easily. Oh wow, finally. So you don't feel like your wings almost scratch the walls of it. So it feels a bit more awesome. natural and, and better to the play experience to land. Yeah, so now people like me don't struggle landing. And you hang on <laughs> Thank you, sirs. The medium is the same, but taller. And the small has not been changed. But we re have classified ships to fit into the medium that were once classified as small. So okay. hopefully a much better player experience than there has been before. And it's been interesting to take uh, the design of a elevator and the door uh, and extrapolate that across multiple sizes. So in some cases you can kind of widen out the door and use the same shapes. And in some cases you need to think really about how those shapes work. And sometimes they don't work within a small door, for example, when it did work in a much wider door. So we've had to play around with that and keep them looking These consistent awesome with each so other, far. but also cool. uh, adapt those shapes to work for each size. So this is an actualization of a long-term goal for this entire cargo career, to make the whole thing feel more real. 
It means that the whole experience is going to allow for manual load. What's with the double tractor beam? It'll also feel more rewarding because it'll give you more interesting choices hey, Moss, to make you. throughout the process. It'll make multi-crewing a more interesting and useful experience. It's going to just make the whole experience a more skill intensive and interesting and uh, tactile. All right, now we're talking. Talk to me. Now we're talking. Another thing that we've talked about is automated loading in the games. This allows you to... That was 10 minutes for 600 SCU, by the way. ...the games. This allows you to still do commodity trading without bad. needing to actually move the boxes yourself. It will be an option in the commodity terminal. Whenever you go and you pick the destination inventory, you'll be confronted with several options. One is the location you, inventory. The next will be all your ships that are at the location. If you choose a ship, you'll have the option to have it be automatically unloaded or loaded for you. Of course, with an added cost. The ship has to be... Is that medium inventory bar new? Now you got me looking back. I'm sorry we're, we're skipping around a bit today. And uh, another thing that we've... Scrap medium inventory. No... That, that's how much has been there, right? This has been there, I feel like. This isn't new. I don't think that's new. Still do commodity trading without needing to actually move the boxes yourself. It will be an option in the commodity terminal. Whenever you go and you pick the destination inventory, you'll be confronted with several options. One is the location inventory. The next will be all your ships that are at the location. If you choose a ship, you'll have the option to have it be automatically unloaded or loaded for you, of course, with an added cost. The ship has to be stored to allow for the transfer, and it will be time-locked while that transfer is occurring. What is Different that? locations in the game will have... Ah, oh, look at that, a little cargo guy, a little cargo thing, and it tells you how much time is left. Love that. Different amounts of time, places that are more optimized for trade are going to allow for faster transfer you'll be okay. able to still do the trade so pe things with cargo decks should happen quicker Trading, you just have to wait a little bit and pay a bit more money so your profits won't be quite as good in that case right. once the automatic loading process is finished you can just go to the ace hub i'm gonna go back in, in a second here did we see a price for automated loading anywhere on the screen Terminal in the hangar, access it, raise it, and go one. off, and you're on your way. Okay, so I'll, I'll come back here to like 1121, but I, I want to look back at the screen and see if we saw a price. It doesn't say a price for the loading unless the 81K is the price, but the 81K looks to be the price of the commodity, right? Not the price of the loading and unloading. If you care about cargo, this is going to be transformational. But even if you're not interested balls, in cargo you. at all, it's still a foundational change for the game that fundamentally changes principles. There were two prices at the bottom there. Hold up, did I miss it? You to still do commodity trading without needing to actually move the boxes yourself. It will be an option in the... Com where are the prices? There's only one price. Commodity terminal, whenever you go and you pick the destination. Total 576. How does somebody that plays it? I got to call you out. How does somebody who plays the game as much as you not realize that that was SCU? If you if you care about more than anybody on the planet, you have to be shamed for that. Cargo, one. this is going to be transformational. You just wasted all of but our even time. Even if you're not interested in cargo at all, it's... 10 seconds, none of us will get back, PC. Still a foundational change for the game that fundamentally changes principles about inventory, physicality, and your play experience. <laughs> the work's ongoing. We're Whoa, nearly there. That? I think the team's done a great job on this. It's been tricky to get it working as it should be. It's Nothing a about big missions. milestone for the game that's been years in the making and coming. While Obviously I'm here to talk about it today, there's been Recovery a large number of teams across the entire company. 
Uh, this is not the cargo shotgun. This is the new. It, it's not that new. It's the dedicated tractor beam. It's been around for a while. Yeah, nothing about ship components. Um, that have helped it everybody like from our animation, VFX, through to all of the gameplay teams, engine teams. We've had a huge effort from Austin, Montreal, Los Angeles, Frankfurt, Manchester. It's been a big endeavor. So I want to thank everyone that's been helping to see this vision through. And I'm really yeah, looking no forward outposts. to getting this into your hands so that you can play with it. It's still a very big update. So what did we learn this week? We, we haven't seen too much of what happens when somebody tries to join your elevator, uh, when you're going to your own per instance hangar and they're not in your party. Like, there is a lot of questions that still need to be answered that were not touched on in this video at all. It, it's like these things where uh, these guys, the, the guys who do this stuff, like, it feels like they don't play the game. So it, it that's why we always feel that way is because there's actually some really big questions that were instant questions from us that were not addressed by them. Um, that that seem like super obvious, but that's what Spectrum's for. So go to Spectrum, ask the questions. Either a community manager or like somebody like Chad, who's very active on Spectrum, will absolutely answer this, and we can almost guarantee that there'll be a Q and A SCL next week on it, right? So we'll get the questions answered. We just won't have them in this video. Well, we learned that the days of big sh maybe they leave them out on purpose so SCL is worth watching. Ships scraping <laughs> right? by the edges of player <laughs> hangers are almost behind us that you'll soon be able to spawn your ships and have them rise up directly into these newly expanded hangars. Yeah. And that the freight elevators change. and item banks within will herald a new future of physicalized cargo loading that should have long-reaching ramifications for life in the verse. And of course, while everything you see on ISC is always an early work in progress, because of the dramatic and far-reaching effects these systems will have on all life in the verse, you can expect this work will continue to iterate and evolve from what you've just seen between now and its upcoming targeted release in Alpha 323. For Inside Star targeted. Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. Thanks for letting us share the process of game development with you, and we'll see you all here next week. All right, we got to wait for the, uh, the next... Oh, I see what he's doing. Hi. Um, we had a meme image for the end of the show. It's been our thing this season. Uh, this week's was a little too hot for TV. So. Wait, was it not delayed? Was this. Was ISC delayed because they couldn't show the meme image? No fucking way. We're going to put this week's image in your hands. Um, I'm going to give you a frame and you put whatever you want on here. Uh, there you go. And here's my face, knowing this is a bad idea. That's a mistake. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. It's, a mistake. it's the most interaction their Twitter will ever get. So the, the, that is like a perfect Twitter or like Instagram meme. So it'll do very good. Um, yeah, he's going to get cooked by us for sure. Rip Carrick owners, you have to use the added cost feature to fill up the Carrick or do one SCU at a time. For now, guys, for now, oh my god. Listen, you are one ship when 99% of the ships work. Carrick and, like, uh, Carrick and Caterpillar owners really did get screwed with the new updates because, like, cargo boxes don't fit. All these other things are really, really goofy and stupid. But, all right, we already got one. That was quick. Yep, that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake, Jared. <laughs> oh, boy. So, yep. Good start. Good start. We're, we're starting off well with the memes. So, first off, that was a hookah, not a bong. That was at some, like, German thing a long time ago with Chris, but it is forever hilarious and will forever be hilarious. But, yeah. Um, I'm very curious about how things will play out, especially around cargo. I think we have a whole, so much longer and so much more to find out about on ISC. So, that's half of the ISC that we would expect, I think. So, yeah.